Hi, my name is Mary Jo from Steinbrink Landscaping and Greenhouses here in Kearney, Nebraska. And today we're going to be talking about ornamental grasses. They're a fabulous plant to use in the landscape. They're somewhat underused. They're easy to grow. They're very low maintenance. And there's a plethora of different varieties um, to choose from depending on the space and the location of the landscape. The first one I'm going to talk about today is the hardy pampas grass. This grass right here gets four to five foot wide and eight to twelve foot tall. It gets beautiful white uh, fuzzy plumes on it that is very striking in the landscape in the late summer and early fall. This is what we would consider one of the giants of the gardens uh, because it is so large. It also works great as maybe a barrier between an unsightly place in your landscape. Um, but do give this one a lot of room to grow. This one right here we just have in the pot and it's only about that three foot tall. But by the end of the season, it will be a good eight to 12 foot tall. The next one I'm gonna show you here is in the Miscanthus family. And this is a very interesting grass because it has horizontal banding in it. This is called porcupine grass, porcupine miscanthus or miscanthus strictus. It has this horizontal banding in it. This grass can get five to seven foot tall with a, about three foot wide on it. It kind of has an arching upright form to it. And it does get a um, kind of a pinkish, bronzish um, plume in late summer and early fall. It does need a little bit of room to grow, but it can be used um, in groupings of like three to five plants, or it can be used as a specimen plant. But it's very, very striking in the, in the landscape. The next grass we're featuring is a, another type of miscanthus, and it is the miscanthus gracilimus, the maiden grass. This is a standard grass that gives you a lot of wispy movement in the landscape. It has very thin blades with a, um, a vertical stripe down the center of each blade. This will get the plumes on it late summer, early fall. They come out a kind of a coppery color and then they will turn a nice plumy white color by the end of the season. This grass here gets about that five to six foot tall with a spread of about three foot. I mean, it has a very, very arching habit to it. So it's kind of a very fountainy um, habit to it. And the Miscanthus gracilimus um, is a warm season grass and it's very striking in groupings. It looks great on the corner of a house, uh, maybe just as a specimen or um, like along a deck or a patio area. It's very easy to grow and it's one of our grasses that we're featuring this month. The next grass I'm going to feature is a type of fountain grass. Um, this is the Hamlin Dwarf Fountain Grass. And this would be used for areas where maybe you don't have a lot of space. The Hamlin Dwarf only gets about two to three foot tall. It does get these little plumes about midsummer rather than the late summer. It, um, it does have a nice fountainy um, shape to it as well, but it's only gonna get about that tall and about that wide. Um, it's a warm season grass. It looks great as a border plant. Um, it looks good in berms as well, just as another texture. And um, it's one of our most popular selling grasses. And behind me here, is our number one selling grass. This is Calamagrostis Carl Forrester grass. This is a very vertical grass in its stature. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a cool season grass rather than a warm season grass. So it starts to get its plumes very early in the season. And you can see they just started to come out here. And as um, the end of June comes along and the first of July hits, they turn into these wheat heads. And so you have this fabulous golden um, erect stance of, of um, grass in your landscape. And because it is so statuesque and it's so upright, um, these look great in a mass planting like we have here. These were just planted last fall and you can see they've already um, gotten to their height of about that three foot tall. If this were in full sun, these grasses might be about this much taller. But because they do get a little bit of afternoon partial sun, it, they're just going to be a little bit shorter in stature. But the Carl Forster Feather Reed Grass is a very easy one to use in the landscape. It mixes well with all different kinds of plantings. But whatever grass you choose to plant, we've got anything 
to fit your landscape. We have ones with white stripings, we have some that turn like a red color in the fall, and all of them are on sale here at the nursery, 20% off this month in July. For more information on how-to seminars and upcoming workshops, visit steinbreaklandscaping.com.